Okay, so the crossbow guys are there. Um, how to deal with them? Same to you, buddy. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. You and me, mano a mano. Open sesame. <laughs> He's got, oh, my knee. Scabby on my knee. Scabby on my knee. Okay, let's see if we can finish him off the red knight. Oh, I actually hit his uh, projectile in mid flight. Open! <laughs> Good sitting. Oh, got him! Headshot, sweet! The red knight. Ow! Slack, you the man! Now, watch when you go in here. There's always a guy with a mace in there hanging about, just kind of like, you know, sauntering about very casually. Sometimes the game, there he is, see? <laughs> you thought he didn't know about you, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. Dropped your mace? Headshot. Die now, please. Now. Red herb here. And some goodies over here. And I'm just going to sell those right away because my inventory is tight, tight, tight. Yeah, it's really tight. All together now. That's what she said. <laughs> wait, wait, so. You, you know the usual 50 TMP ammo. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have anything else I want to sell? No. What are you buying? Tactical vest, yeah. I'm going to pass on that. Reduces damage by 30%. I think I can get through the game without it. Also the Killer 7. But I do believe I'm going to stick with my Broken Butterfly. What are you okay, boys? now what's coming up on the menu? Capacity upgrade for the Broken Butterfly. Speaking of which. And capacity upgrade for the Striker. And I think that's the last upgrade we're going to get before we get the exclusive. And now I need 25,000 Bezetas. Let's go get it. <laughs> what are you doing, Slack? Just looking around. Okay, let me take a look at the map, see what's up next. Take a little sip of my coffee here. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Stay station there. And a watch or a pocket watch or something like that. Where is this baby? Grass pocket watch. Did Slack call it or did Slack call it? I'm not going to save the game because, like I said, this is a suicide run through the entire chapter segment. Chapter 5 1, no saves. Uh huh. Next, um, the freezer room maze. And we have to deal with a new kind of badass enemy known as the regenerator the regenerator is called the regenerator because when you shoot off its arms and legs it regenerates and he's they're tough there may be one around the corner here not yet later on I'll show you about those guys in a minute first of all Let's see what's on the agenda. The agenda is to get the key card for this freezer, okay? Two very important things in that freezer. One is the thermal scope, so we can use that to easily kill the regenerators. Another is the key card changer, if you will, so we can get another key card for this door here. The garbage disposal key card, right? So that is our mission. Where are we going to get all this? We're going to get all this in here. 
the freezer key card. It all starts with that, and it's in that room there. And we're gonna have to deal with a regenerator without the aid of the thermal scope. Can be done. Let's go do it. Typically, that's really important there that they give you. Oh shit. Uh, okay, let's do a little rearranging here. Yeah, you know, like I said, um, my commentary is rated mature or immature, depending on your perspective. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, I get somebody sending an email to majorslack.com saying, "Slack, what's up with all the cursing?" You know. It's like, you know, you just said a word so vile that only Satan himself could utter it while sitting on the toilet. Shame on you, Slack. Shame. Poor shame. <laughs> one time, uh, one guy, uh, I got a comment here on YouTube. This guy goes, Slack, I'm only eight years old. Can you stop swearing so much? I'm saying, Dude, if you're only eight years old, um, you know, I think a little bit of strong language is the least of your worries like you know what are you doing watching all this violence and gore in these like video games rated mature like seriously dude <laughs> yeah I once read an article that said that the average American 18 year old by the time the average American had reached the age of 18 years okay he had witnessed he or she had witnessed approximately 200,000 acts of violence in the course of his life, you know, like on TV and in movies and, you know, in video games and whatnot. Yeah, 200,000 acts of violence. Like, yeah, jeez. Food for thought. Anyways, um, here is the freezer room key room, <laughs> if you will. And the door is locked, and we have to do this little security thing, and the code is... It's not boys and girls. The code is blue, yellow, green, green, red, red, red. Once again, that's blue, yellow, green, green, red, red, red. And there will be a pop quiz tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Blue, yellow. Whoop, I screwed up. <laughs> I know the code and I screwed up. Fail. Okay, blue, yellow, green, green, red, red, red. There we go. And this lets us in this room here. We can get uh, a little memo from Lewis, our dead friend Lewis. Tells us about the Navistadors and the Regenerators. Regenerators have a superior metabolism that allows them to regenerate their lost body parts at incredible speeds. Yeah, so you got to take these guys down hard and fast. Okay. Uh, my favorite method is um, basically take out the magnum and let him have a couple nut shots. I don't know why that seems to work well for me. Anyways, you know how Slack just loves his nut shots. And then throw a flame grenade at him. They seem particularly susceptible to flame grenades. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go again. Okay, so I'm going to be using a flame grenade, so that'll free up the space. Is there anything else we can reload? The Red Knight. Now can we take it? Thank you. Okay, now, freezer card key is right there. That's a trigger. As soon as you grab it, it's game on. Or rather, that's one of two triggers. Grab the freezer card key. The second trigger is crossing this line right about here. Okay, so you grab the freezer card key and cross that line, and then you have to deal with the regenerator. So that's it. Now it's game on. You hear him bursting out of the uh, the room across the hall there. He comes through the door. Bust him a couple in the nuts. Make sure you put him on the ground. That's the whole idea. Put him on the ground and then test your throwing arm and huck a grenade out there. Another one. And these guys, they're a real piece of work. They'll bunny hop towards you. Oh shit. Didn't want to do that. There he goes. He's dead. Yeah, they'll bunny hop towards you. Don't get too close to them when you're on the ground, eh? Because uh, they'll just belly hop right up and start gnawing on your neck. It's pretty hellacious. It's actually kind of funny, too. <laughs> smashy, smashy. Let's see it, Slack. 
why do you want me to like give you a live demonstration of them belly hopping and then gnawing on my neck? All right. The things I do for love. Yeah, this is gonna be another regenerate around the corner here. Okay, so what's our flame grenade situation like? Not too bad. Okay, we're good. Didn't want to reload the broken butterfly, but hey. And he's just around the corner. There he is. Put him on the ground. <laughs> he's <belly hot. laughs> Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, he fucking killed me. You can fight him off. But it's tough. Now that was for demonstrational purposes only, eh? Alright? <laughs> Seriously. See what I do for you guys? Yeah, you can't fight him off, but you gotta be like Super Johnny on the spot with wiggling in the controls there. Um, where am I? Right before, okay. Okay, here we go. For real now. I'm gonna kick your ass since you nod on my neck and killed me right in front of all my YouTube viewers. Yeah. <laughs> 